Welcome to this strength and conditioning lower body focused workout with me, Suvini. We're going to be targeting the butt, the glutes, that is the glutes, the hamstrings, and of course your quads as well. So make sure you bring in all that energy, a big smile, water bottle, towel in hand, and we are going to get ready for the warm up. Make sure you download the CultFit app for more such workouts, wide variety of body focused trainers and also it's going to help you hit those fitness goals as well. So download the CultFit app now. Let's begin with the warm up. So without further ado, with the warm up, you know the drill, uh, four movements, 30 seconds each movement and we're going to start off with full body conditioning to, you know, gradually bring that heart rate up, open out those muscles, bring the heat into the body with the jumping jacks. So feet are together, from there you're gonna jump out overhead and then jump back in, okay? And uh, before we get started, of course, I want you to make sure you are switching on the activity on your watches and we are gonna get started uh, with that warm up, jumping jacks for 30 seconds, three, two, and one, come on. Stay on your toes. Nice big range of motion here, arms all the way overhead. Remember, if you're feeling a little niggle on the knee, I want you to do the step jacks, but move a little quicker on that so that we're generating that heat and getting ready for the main workout. Fantastic work. Almost there. Three, two, one. And done. Okay, the next movement that we're doing is going to be the standing toe touches. So for this, you're going to keep your feet a little wider than your shoulders as well. From here, hands out, opposite hand to the toe. Look up at the palm on top, back, repeat on the other side. Let's go in three, two and one. If you're scaling down, it's all right if you can't touch your toes. Make sure you're touching your heel, or not your heel, sorry, your ankle or your shin or even your knee. Completely okay. Okay, you're gonna feel that on your posterior chain, that's your hamstrings, your inner thighs, your calves. Yeah, come on, almost there. Three, two, and one. All right, next up, we're gonna do beast hold cars. So all that means is you're gonna get into that beast hold position, palms under your shoulders, knees under your hips, tuck your toes with the flat back, just slightly raise your arms, uh, your knees off the ground. From there, you're gonna rotate back, forward, and repeat on the other side while trying to maintain hips forward facing down okay let's get started three two and one come on on the left hand then on the right hand it's really challenging your balance and stability your core strength and activating the lower body Whew. definitely already feeling that burn take it easy my beginners, you can drop your knees down when you feel that fatigue. Three, two, and one. Okay, and the last movement that we have is the alternating pigeon stretch. So what we're gonna be doing is from that plank position, palms under your shoulders, stepping out into the plank, you're gonna bring the left leg forward, feel that stretch, hold for maybe three seconds, then I want you to go back into plank, bring the right leg forward. Okay, let's go in three, two, and one. Hold it here, three, and switch. One, two, three, and switch. And keep going like this as much as possible. Maintain a 90 degree from the knee and ankle. All right, almost there. Three, two, one, and that's done. Okay, we're gonna be doing all four movements again. 
round number two, starting off with the jumping jacks in three, two, and one. Come on. Since this is the second round, try and move just a little bit faster. And you can see that you'll be able to move a lot better now as well. Keeping that core engaged, big range of motion with the arms. You have the option to scale down as well. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest up. Okay, we're going in four standing toe touches. Three, two, and one. Focus on the palm on top, back to position. Breathe out on top. Touch your toe. Feel those muscles working. Keep those knees extended. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Beast hold cars. Let's get down. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Rotate back and forward. On the other side. Hips facing down, core tight. Knees just off the ground. Try not to lift the hips up. Take it slow. Come on, stay with me. Last one on the other side, and we are done. Last movement, the alternating pigeon stretch. Three, two, and one. Feel that stretch on your glutes, on your hips, and then I'm gonna switch, making it a little dynamic, and also adding in that little plank in the middle to help with core activation. Breathe in, breathe out. Almost there. Three, two, and one. All right, so that was the warm up. Of course, now we're gonna move on to the primer. 40 seconds. We're gonna take it easy, kneeling to squat, okay? So, what that means is you're gonna start off in the kneeling position, step, step squat and then step step kneeling so i want you to alternate your legs when you do this okay if you're finding this a little hard i want you to just do the plain old air squats okay that's about it let's get started three two and one come on step step so started with the left so left down right down then right, left, right down, left down. Left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Okay, keep going. Feel the engagement of those muscles, the quad burn, taking it nice and slow. Keep that core tight and we're gonna go 10 more seconds. Stay focused. And that's done. Okay, so already worked up a sweat, feeling amazing after that warm up. Now, we're gonna move on to that main workout, right? If you thought that, you know, working your lower body was, you know, your butt, your hips, your quads, if you thought you didn't need it, I think it's time you think again, right? A good lower body workout is, you know, it's not about just your legs, but it's so much more than that, right? Like we mentioned in the previous session, it's all about supporting your body weight, some really big muscle groups here that require your attention, and that's why we have this program. So let's get started. Whew, okay. Today we're gonna be doing plyometric training, which means it's gonna be explosive, it's gonna really push your heart rate up, it's gonna be dynamic, and it's also gonna be a lot of fun. So what we're gonna be doing is AMRAP this time, 
as many rounds as possible. And it's a rep-based workout. So we have four movements for you, and I'll come to that in just a second. Before that, I need to remind you, if you are looking to really push yourself, to really challenge yourself, now's the time to get a hold of some weights. It could even be a backpack, a water bottle, anything that gives you that little resistance, and that'll really help you tone your lower body, okay? Uh, of course, you can do with body weight as well, and it's also still gonna give you a good burn. So, I'm gonna show you body weight and then your option to scale up, yeah? The first movement that we have is the jump squats. So what we're gonna do, feet about shoulder width, toes facing slightly outwards. From there, chest up, back straight, core tight. Push your hips back, get into a squat. Explode up into a jump, squat, jump, okay? If you wanna scale down, air squats. If you want to scale up, I want you to get a hold of your dumbbell. All right, so we're gonna hold it in a goblet this time. So from here, squat down, jump, squat, and jump. All right, so that's your option. The second movement that we have is the quad rockers. So we're gonna get into the plank, palms under your shoulders. From here, what you're gonna do is push your hips back towards the heels, shoot out, fully extend the knees, chest above the palms, core tight. All the way back, shoot out. If you're scaling down, when you're going back, rest your knees. When you're coming forward, shoot out, okay? That's the second movement. The third one for your core, butterfly sit-ups. So your feet facing each other, pull it close to your body, from there, Rest your hands, the back of your palms, down on the ground. Breathe out, extend forward, touching your toes. Down, breathe out. If you want to scale this down, you can just go halfway, as much as you are comfortable, okay? And the last movement, again, plyometric, and definitely going to give you a lower body burn, is the frog jumps. So we're going to start off in the plank. From here, I want you to jump. Stay in the squat, back, jump with your uh, heels landing first outside the palms, and back to plank. If you're scaling down, step, back. Repeat on the other side, okay? Every time you step forward, lift the chest up, keep the core tight. So those are your movements. Jump squats, quad rockers, butterfly sit-ups, and frog jumps. We're gonna do 15 jump squats, 12 quad rockers, nine butterfly sit-ups, and six frog jumps, 12 minutes on the clock, and as many rounds as possible. I'm gonna set a steady pace for you all, so either you can stick with me, if you wanna scale down, scale down, if you wanna move faster, you have that option as well, okay? So let's get started. You know the movement. Starting off, 12 minutes, get ready. Three, two, one, and go, come on. Five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, now we're going in for twelve quad rockers. Get into position. Starting now, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Okay. Butterfly sit ups coming up next. Nine butterfly sit ups. Let's go. Three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out on top. Seven, eight, and nine. Fantastic work. All right. 
to finish off six frog jumps, okay? Ready? In plank position and go. One, lift that chest up. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, breathe. Take a second, that was round one. Remember, you can go faster, okay? We're aiming to do as many rounds as possible. <sighs> Grab a sip of water and get ready. All right, if you're with me, round two, 15 jump squats. Three, two, and one, come on. <sighs> two, three, four, come on. Remember, you can do the air squats to scale down. 12, 13, 14, 15. If you wanna really push yourself with this movement, sink lower in that squat and explode up in that jump. All right, 12 quad rockers coming up. Let's go in three, two, and one, come on. One. Extend fully, core tight. Four, breathe out when you're in front. Hips in line with the rest of your body. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Definitely felt that quad burn, right? Your thighs. Getting ready for some core work with the butterfly sit-ups. Nine reps, let's go now. Three, breathe out on top. Feel your abdomen working. Six, seven, eight, and nine. And finishing off round two with six frog jumps. We are almost four minutes into the arm wrap. Come on. And go. One, two. Feet landing outside the palm. Lift the chest up. Feel that lower body burn and that core burn. Last one, six. Okay, two rounds down. Sip some water. You can take this at your own pace to make it easier. Write down the movements before we start, right? So we're going 15, 12, nine, and six. Let's go with round number three, jump squats. Three, two, and one, come on. Two, three, count with me. Five, jump higher, squat lower. Nine. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Quad rockers coming up. I want you to let me know how many rounds you've done, okay? Definitely try and push, try and beat my rounds, or you can stay with me as well. Ready? Quad rockers, go. One, two, four. Breathe out, five, extend the legs fully, eight, Ooh, quad burn, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, after those quad rockers, gotta stand and shake it out. Then going in for the butterfly sit-ups. Ready? Come on, three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, approaching six minutes, halfway there, come on, five, six, seven, breathe out, eight, and nine. Excellent work, almost done with round number three, six frog jumps left to finish. Oh, my lower body is definitely talking to me. Plyometric work, right? Building up 
endurance and go. One, two, three, four, breathe out, five and six. All right, three rounds down and we are close to seven minutes into the workout, right? Breathe out, breathe in, get ready. Round number four. How are you feeling? Give me a smile. Three, two, one, jump squats. 15. Remember, you have the option to make it more challenging with the dumbbell. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So yesterday did, we, we did unilateral, today we're doing plyometric, right? Pushing that heart rate up, getting in a good lower body burn. Quad rockers, 12, and go. One, two, three, four. Keep breathing in and out. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, ooh, 11, and 12. Ah, wow, that is some amazing work. Shake it off. Butterfly sit-ups. Come on, three, two, and one, go. Breathe out on top, one. Remember, you can go halfway as well. Two, three, four, five. Keep counting. Play some good music. Seven, eight, nine. And that's done. I did an extra one. That's all right. It happens. Finishing up with the frog jumps. Let's go. Finishing round four. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent work. Nine minutes down. This is a 12 minute arm wrap. Anywhere between four to six rounds is fantastic. We're starting round number five. Jump squats. Ready? And let's go now. One, two, 15, right? Three, four, remember, air squats. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm absolutely loving this. I feel like when you have that time limit, really pushes you to keep going, right? Okay, ready? Quad rockers. And go. One, two, three, four, six. Keep counting, seven, feel the quad burn. Eight, breathe out on top. Two more, come on. And 12, wow. Really toning up the lower body here, right? Come on, 10 minutes, 30 seconds up. Butterfly sit-ups and go. One, two, three, four, five, four more. Seven, eight, nine. Last one, frog jumps. Come on, let's push and go. It's just six. Three, four, five. Last one, six. All right, 11 minutes in. Let's see if we can finish round six, huh? Okay, three, two, and one, come on. 
We stop as soon as it turns 12, okay? Five, six, keep pushing. Eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20 seconds to go. Quad rockers and go. Two, three, six, seven. Let's try, try and finish. Nine, 10, 11, 12. And that's done. Whew. How are you feeling? I am definitely feeling that lower body burn. We're gonna take a minute to rest. Whew. You're gonna need it. Walk around. All right. So we managed six rounds, half of six rounds, right? We finished two movements. That is fantastic work. I wanna know how you have done with this AMRAP. How many rounds did you fully complete? And where did you stop when that timer hit 12 minutes? Fantastic work. I want you to catch your breath now. Drink some water. Wipe yourself off. Shake those legs out. All right. So I wanted to talk to you about how most people measure their workouts on the basis of how much they sweat, right? And I'm here to tell you that sweat is not an indicator of how hard you've worked out, okay? It is a little wrong to assume that sweat means more work done. And it's completely fine if you don't sweat while you're doing a workout as well, as long as you know you gave it 100% of your energy and your time, right? So, um, just to conclude, even if you don't sweat, it's fine. It doesn't mean that you've done less work, okay? I'm trying to get rid of that notion. And why are we doing so much lower body work? It's because it overall impacts your strength, supports your range of motion, your movement, your posture, helps beat back pain and makes you a stronger athlete, okay? Having said that, if you don't immediately see results, uh, you know, if you don't immediately see the toning being done, it's completely fine because you have to be consistent over a period of time, right? And that's why we're all here to make sure you stay consistent with your workouts and we know that we can get it done together, okay? So, on that note, we are now gonna go into round, not round two, workout two, right? Whew. Shake it off and let's get ready. We are gonna be doing 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and we have three movements for you. And between each uh, round, we're gonna be taking 30, sec 30 seconds to rest, okay? The first movement that we have is the pop lunges. And we're gonna be doing two rounds, right? So the pop lunges, what you're gonna be doing is it's like a jump lunge, but it gives you a little bit rest in between, okay? So jump into the lunge, back into position, other side, back to position. That's your pop lunge. If you wanna avoid that jump, well and good. I want you to just make sure either you're doing a forward lunge or a reverse lunge. And of course you have that option to hold the dumbbell, hold it like this. And I want you to either do the pop lunge or the scale down version, reverse slash forward lunge. All right, let's get ready. I'm gonna show you the next two movements as we go on. Starting with round one, pop lunges in three, two, and one, come on. 40 seconds of work, 90 degree angles, both the legs. Chest up, core tight, back straight. You can use your arms as momentum, find your balance. Remember, it's a little pop in between, and then you jump out into the lunge. And if you're scaling down, forward lunges or reverse lunges. <sighs> Plyometric, right? That's the entire point of this workout. <sighs> 10 seconds. <sighs> 
Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. 20 seconds. Next up, frog pumps. So, similar to the butterfly sit-ups, this is how you're going to keep your position. Lie low. From there, hips up. Squeeze the glutes. Rest. Push up. Breathe out. Rest. Scaling up. I want you to hold the dumbbell. Place a towel on your hips. Place the dumbbell on the towel. Push and down. All right. Three, two, and one. Come on. Push up. Your feet are facing each other. Squeeze the glutes on top. Working on your inner thighs, your outer glutes. Breathe out on top. Keep that core tight. Fantastic work. 10 more seconds to go. All right, three, two, and one. All right, and the last movement that we have, everybody's favorite, the plank hold. Targeting your core, and what we're gonna do, elbows under the shoulders, step out, entire body in one line, hold here, keep the core engaged. Scaling up, palms under your shoulders, entire body in one line. Further scaling down, sorry, so the high plank is a scale down. If you're further scaling down, just drop the knees, hold it here. Okay, let's get ready in three, two, and one. 20, 40 seconds here. Breathe into it. So like we mentioned, right, isometric holds, better to keep that mind occupied. I'd love to know your favorite books or give me some nice book re recommendations or your favorite authors, <sighs> right? Let's think about that while also thinking about how that core is burning, the shoulders are working, <sighs> getting stronger. Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest up, 30 seconds. And then we do one final round, okay? Whew. Definitely feeling that burn. It's getting challenging. You're going to want to stop at some time. But remember, we're all in this together. We're all trying to get towards some goals and we're here to push each other, okay? On that note, get ready. We're gonna start with the pop lunges. Three, two, and one, come on. Keep going. You can slow it down as well, all right? No harm. Nice work. Big smiles, halfway there. I'm gonna shake it out. Ten more seconds. Keep pushing yourself. Three, two, one, and rest. 20 seconds. Frog bumps coming up. Get ready. Get the dumbbell if you need to. Three, two, and one. Push your hips all the way up towards the ceiling. Breathe out. Neck neutral. Try not to tuck the neck towards the chest. Halfway. Keep pushing. Building a stronger lower body. Come on. 10 seconds. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Okay, fantastic work. The last one, the plank hold, 
10 seconds. Sip some water if you need to. Almost done. Last movement, that's it. Three, two, and one. Hold it here. Elbows under your shoulders. Keep a check on those hips, okay? One straight line from the tip of the toe to the heels. Sorry, from the tip of the head to the heels. Just breathe. Stay with me. We can do this. Halfway there. Come on. I want you to keep pushing through. Just 10 more seconds. We got this. Getting strong and fit together. Three, two, one. And we are done. I feel absolutely amazing. And I'm sure you do as well. Wipe off that sweat. Pat yourselves on the back for a job well done. Sip some water and catch your breath. We are gonna move on to the cool down. Wipe yourself off. All right, the first one that we have, Twisted Lizard. All that means is, I'm gonna bring the right foot in front with the right hand, hold on to the left ankle, pull towards the butt, place my left palm down, and open my chest out. All right, hold it here, 20 seconds. Breathe, catch your breath. And switch. Opposite hand and foot, twist to the other side. Open the chest up. 20 seconds with each stretch. Feel that quad and the hip and of course the spine. Three, two, and one. All right, from there, I want you to do a basic hamstring stretch. So sit back on your heel, keep this leg completely extended. Either you can hold it here by pushing your hips back or hold the toes. 20 seconds. Breathe in, breathe out. Push your hips back. Three, two, one, and switch. Sit back, hold it here. This leg is completely extended. Feel that stretch on your hamstrings, on your calves. And switch. Reverse pigeon for the glutes. You're gonna bring your left leg on your right knee, hold your right knee and pull towards your chest. Feel that glute stretch. Just breathe in, breathe out. Three, two, one, and switch right leg on the left knee, pull the left knee towards you. Breathe in, breathe out. Three, two, one, release that. We're gonna slowly stand up for the last stretch, the standing straddle. Step off the mat your feet wide, put your palms down in between your feet, hold it here. If you're comfortable, try and drop your elbows down between your feet. Feel that stretch on the inner thighs, the hamstrings, the calves. All right, almost there. Five seconds. 
three, two, one. We're slowly gonna stand nice and proud because we are done with another lower body session. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you feel that burn on the lower body. I know I'm gonna be walking with wobbly legs after this one, right? Plyometric training, super fast, super powerful, lots of intensity, and we had a blast while doing it. Thank you for joining me. We are gonna sign off. Three, two, one, we are cult. Take care and goodbye.